All right, I survived 100 days in hardcore Minecraft as a mob hunter or zookeeper or building a zoo. I don't really know what I'm gonna call it yet, but regardless, in this video, I have tons of animals all over the world, things from lions and tigers and bears. Oh my God, the dragon. You see what I did there it was like the lions and tigers and bears, oh my, but then it was a, a dragon and yeah. I have these cages and tranquilizer darts and using those, I could capture mobs and place them wherever I wanted. With that, I wanted to build a very cool zoo with all kinds of animals and monsters and dragons with all kinds of different habitats for them. It's gonna be fun. But before we get into that, did you guys know that you can earn free stuff in your games just by playing them? Sounds pretty cool, right? Well, that's where today's sponsor, Buff, comes in. Simply by playing your favorite games like League of Legends, Minecraft, Valorant, Fortnite, Dota 2, PUBG, and many more, you can earn Buff Points. With those buff points, you can redeem them on their marketplace for things like Steam credits, Blizzard stuff, RP credits, skins, game keys, gaming hardware, all kinds of stuff. For example, do you guys happen to play on the hit Minecraft server Hypixel? Well, with buff points, you can buy things for the game modes like Skyblock, Bed Wars, stuff like that. And I know a lot of people play those, so, uh, you know, that might interest you a little bit, yeah? Yeah. Earning buff points is pretty easy as well. All you have to do is have the program running in the background while you're playing video games and you earn points over time. Buff is also completely safe to use. It doesn't allow your game, it doesn't affect gameplay, it doesn't take your data, you are good to go. And if you download Buff in the description right now for the month of June, you can get an extra 70 buff points for a new account, giving you 100 total points. You really can't go wrong. Download Buff in the description right now, grab those free points, and start earning today. Alright, now let's go see what cool mobs we can capture. Yeah! Day one, I spawned in a roof forest and saw this little raccoon! You little guy. Yeah. I then got some wood and got my wood tools going, and there were all kinds of animals around here. Hello! Tortoise? Oh, you're hiding. That's cute. After looking at the local wildlife, I got some stone and a few ores from a nearby cave, and then I smelted them and gathered some wood. I hunted some nearby pheasants for food, then I cooked it, and then I saw some sheep. I took them out for wool, and then this boar just starts chasing me. No, 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 no. I'm sorry! Are they gonna lose aggro? Oh, they're so fast. Yeah, that's right. Screw off. Hey. Okay, we're good. I took it out, but that was scary, bro. After that, I used the wool that I got to make a bed, and then I made these poles. I used a pole along with some of the platinum that I got earlier to make a scythe. This was a really cool weapon, and it was, like, big. Day two, I decided that I needed to find a place to live. I needed a mostly flat area with a lot of space so I could build out my zoo, so I went to look. On the way, I saw this tortoise that came out of a hole in the ground. After that, I went into a mountain biome, killed some pigs for food, and then I mined coal and got some torches. Just over the next hill was the perfect spot. Yeah, this'll do. This'll definitely do. I picked a spot towards the middle and I placed an outline of where I wanted my house to be. I wanted to get the house done quick so I could get to making the ultimate zoo with all the cool animals and stuff. I placed a pattern of dark oak and oak wood as the floor, but I didn't really like it, so I changed up the trim and it looked a lot better. Then I placed some stairs and a door, and now I needed walls. And that is when I spotted spruce wood in the distance. I want that. We're gonna get that. And the next day I went to grab a bunch of spruce wood. But on the way there I saw these super sick lizards. What are you? Hello? Oh, how there's two of you. Hello? Did you come out of the hole too? Oh, there's a, there's a, there's a tiny one. Hello? Definitely catching them later, way too cool not to. After that, I gathered my spruce and then I went back to make a perimeter of pillars around my house. Now I needed another material for the walls. So after making some food, I went and mined this marble that I saw nearby. Uh, yeah, never mind. There was not even close to enough marble, so instead I just used limestone. I spent the rest of that day and like half of day four mining limestone. After mining the limestone, I went home and I chiseled it into my desired pattern, and then I finished up the walls. I like how they turned out, honestly, but now they needed windows, so I went to get sand. I found some in a swamp, however, uh... Big tree, buddy. Okay, hey, no, okay. That's cool. That's great. I didn't want the sand anyways, man. That's great, yeah, no, you, you can keep it, man. Yeah, for sure, for sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's your sand, yeah. 
I didn't want sand anyways. Hey, my man, we gotta talk. <laughs> I need that. <laughs> I need all of that. Oh, there's two of them. Okay. Go anywhere else, man. I need the sand. Like, if I go down here, are you gonna attack me? Are we good? I, I just need a bit, okay? Okay. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, we're chill, we're chill, we're chill. We're, we're, we're good, we're good, we're good. Yeah, it was kind of risky, but I did get some sand. I got home that night, I slept, and I began making glass for the windows. After I filled in the windows with glass panes, I went to find some iron. I desperately needed iron for tools and armor. While looking for a cave, I was near that swamp again, and this time there was no crocodile guarding the sugarcane. So I went in and got some sugarcane. That was huge, and you'll see why later. I found a cave a bit later, and in it, this entire dude. Hello? Okay, Dark Souls guy, die. Please die. Please die. Are you dead? Okay. After taking that guy out, I checked the cave, but I didn't really want to go down the deep hole, so I turned around and went back to exploring. Cool witch. God, this swamp looks sick. This swamp is sick. Look at it. There's giant trees and a cool witch hut, dude. And those... A bit later, I found this ruined portal and I got two baubles. One was a thorn necklace and the other was a magnet. The magnet sounded cool, but as soon as I put it on, my inventory got filled with a bunch of garbage, so, uh, nah. I also got some decent gold armor, which is cool. I gathered some sand and some gravel in a river, and then, hey, I got some iron. Let's go. It was getting dark, so I was heading back home when this bear starts chasing me. Please, nighttime mobs, let me survive. I don't want to die. It's a bear. My bad, my bad! I'm sorry! Okay. Okay. Hey. I'm sorry! Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, they're fighting! Let's go! Oh, sick! Okay. The cat won. That's cool. I want to go home. Yeah, luckily the cat saved me or it would have been over. I was not beating a bear in a fight. Now, I needed more wood to finish my base, so on day 6 I made a bunch of axes and I went to get some. I had this really cool mod that would let me just chop the bottom block of a tree over and over, and it made gathering wood so much nicer. I gathered my wood and then I went home, and there was a mooing rhino outside my house. Do rhinos normally, like, moo in real life? Is that like a thing? I, I don't really know how that works. After that, I made a bunch of stairs and slabs and stuff, and I got to finishing my base. The magnet that I got earlier was actually amazing because any block that I misplaced, and there's a lot of those, I could just mine it and grab it without having to fall down, which was like, great. And because of this amazing technology, I was able to finish my roof by that night. Day 7, it was time to put the sugarcane to good use. First, I used it to make a blowpipe. Then, I used it to make 16 tranquilizer darts. Now, I could capture mobs to put in my zoo. Well, almost. First, I had to make these cages. So the way that these cages work is that each cage type can only hold one mob at a time, so I had to make multiple types of cages. Right now, I had the materials for oak, spruce, and dark oak, so I made all three. Now to try and capture my first mob. Okay, I haven't actually tested this myself, but we're gonna try it right now, together. So, the idea is that if a mob is below 25% HP, which I can check with my right click, which I don't know how it's going to work when they have 2 HP, but we're going to find out. Um, I shoot them with this dart, and then I can catch them in the cage. So basically, this newt has 2 HP. I shoot it with the dart, and then I hit it with this. What? It died. It died. But do I still get it? Oh, I still get it. That's weird, but I'll take it. Yeah, so basically, if the mob was under 25% HP and under the effect of the Trank Dart, I could capture it in one of the cages. I was going to go capture stuff for my zoo right now, but I still really needed armor, so I decided that it was time to mine instead. And who knows, maybe I'll find some really cool specimens underground while mining. I don't, but I could have. I found this massive ravine that day with tons of iron, and I just mined there for the rest of the day. I mined a bunch more iron there for the first half of day 8, and then I headed home to smelt it. 
By the end of day 8, I had made a full set of iron armor and I had gotten an infinite water source at my house. Day 9, I planted a bit of sugarcane. I would need tons of this stuff later, so I wanted to get a farm going as soon as possible. Now it was time for my very first mob habitat. I wanted my first mob to be those little nuke guys near my house because they look kinda cool and also I feel like they're a really good starting animal. Now I didn't know what a newt was in real life so I had to look it up and they look like this. Kinda cool right? After doing a bit of research I decided that I wanted to give them a kind of swampy habitat. I headed for the swamp and I gathered some lily pads, some weird plants, some green wood, and some mud. This is a disgusting noise. I decided on putting the enclosure right next to my house and I began terraforming to make it fit. Day 10 I started building the trim of the enclosure and I realized that I definitely needed more green wood so I went to get some. I gathered a bunch and then I went back and I worked on the enclosure some more only to realize that I still did not have enough wood. Yeah. Day 11 I was doing tons of building. I filled in the area with water, I added a bunch of cool plants and stuff, some mud, and then I finally finished the swamp enclosure, more or less. Do I really need more glass? I had so much! Okay. So yeah, day 12 was the day that I went to get more sand. I gathered a bunch, I went home, and I smelted it. Once that was done, I got to finishing my enclosure. After placing most of the glass, I went to gather the newts. Hello! You're going to be my friend forever. You. And you. <laughs> I now had them and I was going to name them when I realized that I did not have the iron for an anvil, so that could wait. My hope was that newts just didn't despawn and luckily for me they did not. The next day I finally put the newts in the enclosure. Up in here. One. No! Uh. I'm so sorry. I try. I will try not to do the same thing to you. I am so sorry. I apologize sincerely. Okay. Okay, be careful. One. Two. And three. Let's go. Look at our boys. Look at them. We got them. We have nukes. <laughs> However, I couldn't really see them too well because there was only three of them. Hello there, little newt. Come with me. One, two, three. Now there's like six of you in here. Aha, now I have six newts in a fancy swamp enclosure. Yeah, I felt like it needed a bit more, just a little something else to make it feel more alive. That is when I headed back to the swamp to grab some more creatures. I grabbed these dragonflies that I saw before and then I caught this tall bird. Then I spotted something crazy. What the? What is that? What kind of creature? It's a dinosaur! Or something. I'm leaving. I don't know what that is. I'll come back for it one day. I don't know what that was. That was like a dinosaur or a dragon, bro. It was a tiny little dragon. Yeah, a tiny little dragon dude in the swamp. Or maybe it was like a bat or something, I don't really know, but either way, I definitely wanted to get it later. And then, on the way home, just look at what happens to me. What is that? Oh, nah. Nah, I don't like that. Uh, okay. No, no, no! No, 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 no! Wait! Okay. That's my house, and you're gonna kill me. I'm running away. No, no, no. Why is there a mutant zombie? Luckily, I was able to back off, lose aggro, make a bed, and sleep, or that would have been a very bad night. Hey, by the way, if you're not subscribed, you might want to just go down there, click the button, you know, it'd be pretty cool of you. Yeah. The next day, I tried to put the new creatures in the swamp habitat, and, uh, yeah. Now let's put our new friends in the cage. Hello. Okay, this one is the dra one of the dragonflies. What did I just do? Oh, one of the newts escaped. No, come back. Now where's the where's the dragonfly that was in? Oh, it's out there. Hey, yeah, I don't know if you noticed. Why did you do that? No, stop, stop. I missed. Hey. 
Okay. Got it. Okay. <laughs> okay, then. You go here. No! Uh. Okay. We only need one. That's that's fine. D get off my head. Stop, stop. Okay, in bird. Get off my head. Please? No! You know what? The bird's good enough. We don't we don't need dragonflies. We don't we don't need those. Okay. Yeah, so dragonflies did not work out at all. At least we have the crane though, and that crane made me really want to get more birds. I had an idea for a cool bird cage, I just had to actually, you know, build it, so I went to gather materials. I went to this root forest and I began gathering these eggs out of nests. Oh, there's a, there's so many eggs. Yoink. Yoink. Oh god. To use those eggs, it seemed like I would need some more iron and redstone, so I had to go mining. I hunted some animals, cooked their meat, and then I went underground. Diamond, let's go, gamers! Okay. How many we got though? We got six diamonds and some more iron. Let's go. Okay. Yeah, six diamonds. Pretty nice. After that, I got some redstone and a bit more diamonds and I was good. So I went back up and then as soon as I get up, there was a mutant skeleton. No. Okay. I was not dealing with that. So I just slept on the ground. The next morning, though, it was still there. It's still there. Go away. Bro. What do I do about that? I can't kill that. Are you gone? It's gone. Okay. I, I think. Right? Okay, it's gone. It's gone. We're good. It's not gone. Why? I have to tunnel the other way to get away from it. This sucks. Yeah, and then after tunneling around my entire mountain and coming back from the other side, the skeleton despawned. Nice, I want to uh, never deal with that again. However, I unfortunately do not have that luxury. <laughs> back home, I made an egg analyzer and an egg incubator. Using these, I could scan and identify the mystery eggs that came from nests. Most of them became eggshells, but I did get a couple cool bird eggs. The incubator seemed like it would need blaze powder, which I did not have, so I was just going to hope the eggs worked without it. Now, I needed my bird enclosure. The next day, I went to get sand because I would need a lot of glass so I could actually see the birds from the outside. But on the way out, I saw these things on the ground. What is that? What are these? New eggs? Oh! What? Bro, I have 16 new eggs. They're just spawn eggs. I have so many newts. They're all the same color. <laughs> what? Yeah, new eggs with lots of baby newts just chilling in the enclosure now. Nice. Then while I was gathering sand, I used my magnet to gather it easier and I got even more eggs for cabbage and snakes. So that was pretty cool. I got like three stacks of sand and then I went home to smelt my glass. The next day while the glass was smelting, I wanted to see if I could get some more animal eggs. I really didn't get much though, just a lot of catfish, so not great. The next day, I wanted to build my bird habitat. I originally wanted to go with a bird cage type thing, but that seemed kind of boring, so I went outside and planted two giant spruce trees, which filled an area with pod soul. Did you guys like know that it did that, by the way? If you plant like a spruce tree, like a big one, like a two by two, it puts pod soul like everywhere, which is really cool. I just never knew it did that. Now, my plan was to outline the pod soul and then build giant glass walls all the way up and cover the trees, which, uh, Fun fact is a lot of glass, but uh, yeah, that was the plan. So I built the wooden outline around the pod sole and then I made this builder's wand. These wands were going to save so much time building enclosures. I placed all the glass that I had, which got the walls less than three blocks high. I would need so much glass. Day 20, I had no choice but to go look for a large desert or beach or something. Glass was a necessity. I also took the opportunity to loot some more nests. More eggs, more birds, so I wanted to get as many as I could. And then something bad happened. I was wandering in a forest, having a great time, when this bear wakes up and starts going crazy. I thought I could beat it with my scythe, and oh no, I was not correct, and this thing collapsed me. But uh, <laughs> that doesn't count as a real death, right? I mean, how am I meant to know that a bear does that much damage, you know? it's. It's not a real death. It's not real. It's not real. 
We're going to refer to this as the bear incident, and we're going to say that it never happened in the comments. Okay? Cool. The next day, I had my stuff back, and I was back on the path for a desert. I was in a forest when this giant cat attacks me. Oh, no. 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 Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Yeah, between the bear incident that did not happen and the giant cat, I would just kind of avoid forests if I could. Way too dangerous. The next day, I spotted a village, and in it, I found something incredible. Oh! Oh. Woohoo! Wait, does that cook my food? Like... Oh! Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, buddy. Oh, we got food for days. Let's go. I could now get cooked food insanely easily, so food was just not a concern anymore. I love that. I stole some hay and stuff from the village, and then just outside the village, I saw these dragons. What are you? Oh, you're a dragon! What? Are you aggressive? Oh, there's a bunch of you! Hello! There's a big cat over there, watch out! Yeah, dragons! They're pretty sick. Yeah. Then, later, I found these kiwi birds. I wanted to bring some home because I kind of like them, and also, you know, maybe if I could breed them, I can get a bunch of them, so I grabbed two of them. Day 23, I got attacked by a giant dragon. No! No, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry, don't jump. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. What is that? What is that? It roared at me and made me slow, bro. I want to get to that village over there. What? That's a really small village. Is there only... Oh, there's more over there. Bro, what the heck is that? Okay, so not quite attacked, but like, it was definitely going to, right? Yeah. Luckily, I was able to go around it and get away, or things might have gotten ugly. Later that day, I found a desert biome. Let's go! Oh, we're good. Oh, this isn't even that far from my house. Okay, it's kind of far from my house. There was lots of cool animals and stuff, and I would definitely have to get some of these later. That night, I found this little structure with some cobwebs and hay bales and stuff, and I ended up sleeping there for the night. Day 24, I wanted to make a backpack. I actually forgot to install the backpack mod, so I had to install it, like, right in the middle of playing. Yeah. Anyways, I went to look for wool on day 24, and I found zero, so on day 25, I continued my search. I ended up back in the Plains Village the next day, and I found some sheep. Killed those guys, got their wool, and I made a small backpack. Yeah, there was not much space, and I would need some more wool to upgrade it, so I went to find some. After a while, I found some more sheep, got some more wool, and I upgraded. Alright, medium backpack. Okay, we're good now. We're good now. Then, that night, just as the sun was setting, I saw... something. What is that?! What is that? That's not a whale. Hold on a minute. It's supposed to be nighttime. I gotta sleep. Hang on a second. What is that? Some kind of sea monster, dragon, creature. I didn't even know what it was. I do not know what that is. It's huge. That's definitely not a whale. <laughs> I don't think that's a whale. It's probably aggressive, right? I can only imagine. <laughs> Jin! No? My bad? My sincerest apologies. Yeah, this giant sea beast was terrifying, but even I did not expect what happened next. Acacia cage. Okay, we have a new kind of cage. I just want to know how much HP it has, but I can't get close to it to check it with the cage. It made a weird noise. I am scared for my life. Hello? Hello? Bro, it's so scary. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Are you gonna get beached? Oh, 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 oh. Um, butterfly leviathan. How much HP does it have? It's beached. I can't see. I can't read. I think it says a hundred. Wait, can I read it? Uh, it, oh. <gasps> no, 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 no. I don't have any ranged weapons. I don't do any damage with the blowpipe. <laughs> do I have any ranged options at all? I can't- I don't have any flint, so I can't make arrows. Wait, it's drowning! 
Wait, no, it's being bit by a snake. It's poisoned. I mean, I'll take it. I'll capture this thing. Look at that snake going off. Oh, it's, it's dead. But it's poisoned. Okay. That's solid damage. Okay. It has 180 HP. This thing's almost as strong as the Ender Dragon. Okay, what if I shoot it with a dart? It lights it on fire because of my thing. That's probably not for the best. It can't turn. Oh, oh. It's burning. How much HP does it have? That did not do very much. One of these. Run in. Okay, I hit it at least one time. I hit it again? Bro, it hasn't hit me one time. We're good. Well, it hit me before, but that doesn't count. No, it's 38%. Okay. I'm going to take off my, my trinket, my blaze nucleus. I'm gonna... Oh! Oh my god. My health. My health. My health. Okay. It's at 30%. 24%. We got it. Go. Let's go! Let's go! Bro. I don't know how we're going to trap that thing later. Oh. Hello. I captured the butterfly Leviathan. I was actually really proud of that. Like, what are the odds that it beaches itself in such a perfect spot? I had no idea what I was going to do about an enclosure for this thing, but that was definitely going to be a later goal. For now, back to getting sand. I spent the rest of day 26 and all of day 27 in gathering loads of sand. On day 27, while I was gathering sand, this bug got kind of annoying. Can you not? Die. Annoying creature. What the? What the? Ow. Ow, 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 ow. Am I going to die? Bro. Stop. Stop. Oh, it's as I move. Oh, I just need to not move. Okay. Bro, stop, 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 stop. I'm sorry. I was wrong. I was wrong. I was wrong. I, I, shouldn't have hit, I shouldn't have hit you. I'm so sorry. Okay. Okay, not my best play. And then a bit later, a snake bites me. Why? Why? What did I do? What did I do? What? You were so chill five seconds ago. I didn't even know the snakes could bite because they hadn't done it yet, but apparently they can. Sweet. Day 28, I gathered more sand until my shovel broke, and then I made my way home. After getting home that evening, I gathered as much coal as I could before sunset, and then I began making glass. Days 29 to 31 were mostly just spent watching glass melt and placing it whenever I had a bunch. This bird enclosure was way more expensive than I realized, and I was a bit worried that I wouldn't have enough sand. And, uh, yeah, I did not have enough sand. I don't have enough glass. What? I need like, I need like six more stacks of glass for this, dude. No way. I now needed more glass. Fun. I tried to gather some from a river, but it was just so slow and not worth it at all. So I made my way all the way back to the desert. And on the way, this random bird attacks me out of nowhere. What the, what the, what the, what the, okay, chill. Like, what's wrong with that thing? What did I do to it? Day 32, I spent gathering enough sand for the rest of my bird habitat, and then on the way home, I found a ruined portal, and I got something amazing. Oh, whoa, hey, yes, I will take that, thank you, okay. Yeah, an item that basically turned me into a fish. This had a lot of potential, and that combined with the obsidian from the ruined portal gave me a billion IQ idea. Day 33, I made my way home. I immediately made an enchantment table and I placed it down, but I didn't really have enough bookshelves or levels or lapis or anything for enchantments right now. I decided that I would go mining because I really needed more redstone for my bird thing and lapis for enchantments, so it was just all around a good idea. Before I left, I put down my kiwis inside of my house so I'd have my cages if I saw anything cool underground. I staircased down and I ended up in a cave. Pretty immediately, I got some redstone, some lapis, an emerald, a bunch of good stuff. After that, I stripped mine because I wanted to find better materials for better armor. After that leviathan attack, I realized that iron armor just was not cutting it anymore. I mined for ages, and then on day 34, I finally found five diamonds. 
A bit later, I found a new cave, and you will not believe what I found in here. Why is there a bear? Bro. That doesn't even make sense. How did you get down here? Okay, what if I, like... I don't trust it? I have to take it down. Cave bear, dude. Ow! We're good? We're good? I'm alive? Okay. 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 Yeah, a bear in a cave. Like, why? Why was it down there? It was nowhere even close to the surface. That cave was very worth clearing out though because it led me to some lapis and even more diamonds. It was a big double vein of diamonds too and I got up to 14. I figured that that was good enough and I went back to the surface. When I reached the surface, it was turning nighttime, so I slept as soon as possible to avoid any mutant beasts coming out to attack me again. Day 35, I arrived home and I stored my stuff. I had a bunch of good ores and I decided to use these geodes that I had to make some geode armor. Better than iron and I had enough for a full set, so I might as well. Now I just needed some bookshelves. I wasted no time and I set out to find some leather and sugarcane. While out, I found this jungle and that is a new kind of wood. Jungle wood, that's a whole other cave, let's go. We got another kind of cave, let's go, let's take it. This meant that I could now make a jungle cage and hold a whole extra creature. Sick. A bit later, I was in this river and I just took tons of damage out of nowhere. What was that? Where did it go? Is it that? No. It's right there, right? Yeah, What? It, look at this thing. A toe biter. Well, consider my toes bitten. Late day 36, I discovered a source of leather, or better or worse. You know, you guys probably drop leather, you know? You got leather? Oh, you do. You drop a lot of leather. Well, don't mind if I do. Hello. Ow, ow, ow. Okay, my bad. I almost just died to a bison. Okay. In hindsight, I don't know what I was expecting to do with this pillar. After that scare, I took the rest of them out safely and got up to 23 leather. I found some more bison later and I learned that I did not have to play it so safe. They literally don't react fast enough to hit me back at all. I had enough leather now. Nice. I checked out this little house that I found, but there wasn't really anything in it and then I returned home. And on the way home, there was a sudden forest fire. What is- oh. Huh? What just happened? Where'd the fire come from? What? 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 Huh? Is it just a random forest fire? Is it a thing now? There's no lava. There was a slime. I killed the slime. Why is... What? I still, at the moment of recording this post-commentary, have a zero idea what caused that. I assumed it was a dragon of some kind, but I didn't see any dragons, so who knows. Day 38, I was nearly home when I found a ruined portal. Oh! Oh, oh let's go. Hang on a minute. We got a god apple and a... A worse magnet. Sweet, I'll take it, I'll take it. Yep, an entire god apple from a random ruin portal. Hopefully I would never need it, but it was nice to have. I arrived home a bit later and then I made a diamond axe and I went and gathered some dark oak wood from my bookshelves. The next day I was about to go get some more sugar cane when I got a kiwi egg. Oh! We have a baby kiwi, hello? We have three of you now. Let's go. Now we had three kiwis. Let's go. At this point, the kiwis were basically house pets, so uh, someone should give me names for them in the comments. After that, I went to the swamp, I gathered sugarcane, and then I went back home to finish the enchantment setup. I cycled the enchantments a few times, and then I saw it. Oh, there it is. Hey, oh. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. An auto smelting shovel that would get me all the glass that I could ever need forever. 
I needed level 30 to get it, so I waited for nighttime and I hunted mobs. XP wasn't all I got that night, I got a lot of heads. My scythe gave a 25% chance for mobs to drop their heads, and at this point, I was kinda collecting them. I grinded until level 30, and then I slept off the night. The morning of day 40, I enchanted the shovel with auto smelting. That was all that it got, but I don't even care, that was far easier for getting glass. And then I put sharpness 2 on my scythe, because why not? I then enchanted another diamond shovel with efficiency 2 and I combined them in the anvil. I went outside and I built a massive tower of sand and then I tore through it with the auto smelt shovel. All of this glass super easily and it seemed to give me a ton of experience, which I will definitely take. After I got back down, I realized that I could do this way easier with my offhand, so that's what I did for the rest of my sand. Level 30, just like that. That's insane, dude. Oh my god. <laughs> After doing all that, I nearly finished the bird enclosure, I just needed a bit more sand. I actually had more sand in my backpack, so I just used that, and I was able to get the enclosure mostly done. Then I used some of this experience that I got to get some god tools. Efficiency 4 and unbreaking on the shovel, an efficiency 4 pickaxe, and an efficiency 4 unbreaking 3 axe. I was set. I just needed a bit more glass, and I had a plan for that. I went over to a nearby river, I put on the trinket that lets me breathe underwater, and then I just went to town on the sand there. After I mined most of it, I used the magnet to collect all of the glass. I now had plenty of glass. Day 42, I finally finished the bird enclosure. This took way too long, but it was done, and I was beyond happy with it. Now, for the most important part of the bird enclosure, the birds. What in the world? Oh, we have so many pelicans. Okay. What? Oh, God, no! I'm so sorry! I'm so sorry! I'm so sorry! Uh, 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 uh. Oh, you're cool. Look at that little owl. Let's go. Crane? I don't really think you fit, but whatever. Well, mango? Well, that didn't work. Two pea fowls? Let's go, pea fowls. You're so pretty! Your colors, dude! I like those! Hey, I like you! Look at my birds! Look at us! Oh, we're vibing! After getting them all in there, I added a few branches to the trees to give them somewhere to sit. Oh, th oh that one was landed on the branch! I gave them little branches that they can sit on. Land on it! Land on it! Oh, they're on the tree! Look at that! They're on the trees! They're on the, they're on the trees! Oh! That one's on the branch! There's one on the branch right there! Look, look, look! It's right there. Oh! It's on the bridge! Oh, I'm happy. I love this. Now I wanted to get a bit of a different look, so I made this basic armor set. I then put it through a stone cutter and turned it into this wolf armor. Yeah, not the best look, but it was kinda cool, right? Yeah. I took a bit of time to admire the bird enclosure again before preparing for my next project. Looks- there's all the noises! Oh, this is amazing. Listen to all the birds! Look at them all, all the little, little, whatever those are called, they all grouped up having a good time. And then there's the little baby flamingo. When they all grow up, I hope they don't like fight each other. Cause that'll be sad if they all die. They're using the branches and everything. Bro, this is amazing. They're on top of the tree, the owl's up there. Bro. Okay. Now I wanted an aquarium. My plan was to build it into the side of a mountain, so I spent the rest of that day figuring out how I wanted to do it. By the end, I had a decent idea, and now I had to just actually make it. Day 44, I got to digging out the area, which uh, was definitely not the most enjoyable part of the 100 days, that's for sure. This is incredibly boring. By that night, I had the spot mostly cleared out, and on day 45, I was trying to figure out how to deal with the massive hole above where I wanted the aquarium. I had the idea of making a viewing area from above, which is probably what I would go with. Right now, I just wanted to get wood to finish the frame. I went home and I spent some levels on getting an aqua affinity helmet and repairing the pickaxe. This pickaxe did not have unbreaking, which was causing a lot of issues here. I went and gathered a bunch of dark oak wood and then I finished the frame of the aquarium. I cleared a bit of space around it so I could, you know, walk around it whenever I wanted, and by that night, I had the base of the aquarium good to go. It looked, uh, completely awful right now, but hopefully it would look good when done. Hopefully. Day 46, I cleaned up the area around it, and then I added this deep slate tile pathway. 
I like these blocks, these deep slate tiles. These are pretty sick. Look at that. That's a clean block right there. Yes, sir. Okay. Deep slate tiles are kinda lit. I should probably use them more. Day 47, I spent the entire day getting tons of glass and I filled in the walls of the tank and by the end, it was done. This took way less glass than the bird thing, which was very nice. The next day, I began filling this thing in with water. I remember reading online somewhere that kelp helps fill in the box with water. I don't really know why, but after filling in two of the sides, I went to find some kelp. And later that evening, while I was looking for an ocean, I saw a swamp moose. I don't really know why there was a swamp moose. Like, why, Do mooses normally go to swamps in real life? Is that like a thing? I don't think so. Maybe. Day 49, I was just not finding an ocean. The search was taking so long that I was starting to hallucinate. I was seeing things like green pigs. I had to have picked, like, the worst possible direction to find an ocean. There was definitely- uh, What? Why are you green? Did you drop anything? Uh-huh. Probably should have caught that. Aha, no green ham for me. Get it, because green eggs and ham from the, the hit book. A bit later, I found a village and I got a cool bow. No arrows right now, but a bow would be really useful later. Day 50, I came across a desert. I needed an ocean, but I just cannot pass up the opportunity. I whipped out my shovel and decimated the desert, getting tons of glass and experience. Just look how fast my XP was going up. It's insane. I got all the way to level 50. I could get so many enchantments later. I finally found an ocean a bit later, and even though I was kind of scared to go in there, I went in and I got tons of kelp, and I captured a little yeti crab in a bucket. He would be the first member of the aquarium. I spent a few minutes exploring the creatures of the ocean, getting ideas for the aquarium, and also just really hoping that I don't die. Last time that I was near the ocean, I saw the butterfly leviathan that I captured, and if there was more like that in the water, I could have just died immediately, but luckily there was not. Then, after all of that, I began heading home. Day 51, I arrived home, and I used some of the experience that I had to enchant my armor. I got insanely good enchantments, and I even re-enchanted a pickaxe, and I got efficiency, unbreaking, and fortune. I then grabbed an iron shovel, went to get some sand, and then I filled in the floor of the aquarium, and then I grew the kelp. <laughs> that actually worked. I have no idea why. Why does that work? What is that? What does that do? What does that do? Why did that work? Why did that work? I don't care. I'll take it. Let's go. My aquarium was complete. Give or take maybe some decorations. I can now start filling it with fish, of course, starting with the Yeti crab. The next day, I made a jungle cage and a birch cage, as well as a ton of buckets. I had five cages, a bunch of buckets, and I knew where an ocean was. I was about to head out to catch some fish when I saw that my aquarium was not exactly waiting around for me to fill it. What? Hey, I already have fish! Huh? Where did you guys come from? They spawned in here, dude. I didn't even make these, they're just here. Let's go. Okay. Yeah, just random free fish. Cool, I think. Now there was nothing stopping me. It was time for a fish hunting montage. I'm like half worried some of the things that I caught will just kill the other fish, but we're gonna find out. I avoided catching any eels or jellyfish because those did not seem like a good idea. Alright, go. Right. It's a shark. It's a river shark. Do you kill other fish? Yes, you- I'm sorry. I'm sorry, buddy. I'm sorry, but you won't- you won't fly here. You're- you're killing the fish. You can't- I'm sorry. Let's do... Oh, the catfish! This thing, honestly, is probably better off in the swamp, but I like it, so I'm gonna leave it in here. 
And finally... Oh, whatever. Yeah, this thing's a sunfish. I don't know what a sunfish is, but it's big. And I like it, so I, I caught it. Now let's empty our buckets. Paddlefish. I don't know what a paddlefish is, but it's in here now. This little halibut. Look at this little halibut. Why is it sideways? Um, Atlantic herring. Yes. Grouper. Red grouper. Look at our buddy. What is that blue thing? Oh, that's the trigger fish. Right, right, right. I knew that. Blobfish. Love this guy. Look at him. Vibing. Having a good day. Having a good time. Lobster and lobster too. What does that mean? What does that mean? What is the what is what does that spider eye on the health bar mean? Does that mean it's gonna eat my my things? Is it gonna eat my fish or what? And a pike. What? Huh? Wait. Everything is running away from the pike. Is that bad? The we're, we're, we're... Are you eating my fish? Oh, the pike is eating. No. Oh, I saved you. Oh. My god! Okay, no pike. Pike bad, pike bad. Everything else seems to be pretty peaceful. I think we have a good selection here. I think we're, I think we're good. Day 56, I admired my very cool aquarium. I had so many amazing fish in here, and some I was worried would despawn, but hopefully they'll be fine. I had another goal that I discovered on my fish adventure. I wanted a house pet. The kiwis were cool, I loved them, but I really wanted this other one that I found, and to tame it, I needed eggs. I used my magnet to grab the eggs from my bird enclosure, and then this happened. Oh! I did not want this. Oh my. Okay, I have so many new eggs. I don't- stop, stop, stop. Hey, hey. We're good. I promise you, you do not need to. Oh my. Okay. I just wanted these. <laughs> After that unnecessary amount of new eggs, I went to find my new friend. It took most of the day of running, but I found the dog. Dog! I found you! Hello! Yes, you eat these! I have so many for you! Come here! Hey! Let's go! Oh! 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 Oh, yes, sir! Okay. Oh, look at my boy! Look at my boy! This is my dog! Look at him! Let's go! Okay. I need to get home alive now. I had my new friend, this cute little dog, and then I started making my way back home. Day 57 was spent mostly traveling home with the dog, and once I arrived home, I placed him down and made a name tag and began thinking of a name. I decided on Dog the Destroyer of Worlds for the name. Pretty creative, yeah? I love you. I don't know what you do, but you're amazing. <laughs> Look at your little legs, you have six of them, that's kind of like an insect, like a bug. But you're a dog. A dog bug. Hello, dog bug. After that, I put the remaining eggs into the birdhouse in hopes of getting a few more birds from it, and, uh, that did not go well. How are you low HP? Go away. No, I'm so sorry! No! 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 Uh... Wow, that's a lot of fish. Then I discovered that my giant catfish from the aquarium despawned. Did my big catfish despawn? Oh, my big catfish despawn! No! Things were falling apart at the seams, animals were dying and despawning left and right, it was not a good time. The next morning I wanted to get started immediately on the next project. My idea was a desert slash savanna area and I wanted to get materials and animals from both biomes meaning I had to head out once again to collect stuff. I got to the desert, mined tons of sand, and then I began capturing some animals. I got a koala, some armadillos, and then I tried to capture an emu, and uh, no. What the? What? It dodged it. It's dodging my things. Wait, what do I do? What the what the what? That doesn't make any sense. This is why Australia lost. Yeah, that thing was dodging my darts, and there was no way that I could capture one. However, I could get their eggs so I can get one that way. The next day, I used my magnet to run around grabbing emu eggs. And I got a few more materials for the desert enclosure, and then I began heading home. I had already filled all of my cages, so I had to get the area built before I could capture more. I arrived home on day 60, and I began planning the desert area. 
also known as I spent the entire day digging out a massive square area of dirt. My goal here was to do a sort of like a sunken down desert area. It was going to be embedded into the ground and it'd be able to view it from above and it was going to be sick. Day 61 of the entire day was spent clearing out the pit. Day 62, I had finished clearing it, and now it was time to actually build the structure. And I uh, actually spent the entire day trying to figure out a design for the walls, but by the end of the day, I figured out a decent one that I was happy with. The next day, I built the walls. I made this design out of chiseled cobblestone and some granite pillars, and it looks decent, honestly. I was gonna use sandstone, but for some reason, I couldn't chisel it at all, so I gave up on that. Then I gathered some wood and I put a wooden barrier on the top of the wall, and I would put fences on that later. Then I filled the bottom layer with sand, I built a neat little hill, and then I made a pond with sugarcane. I was trying to build a little savanna section the next day, and on the way to get some bone meal for the trees, I got visitors! Oh! We have visitors! Hello! Oh! Do you like the birds, or...? No? Okay. Well, uh, <laughs> enjoy the zoo. Okay. I guess they didn't know weapons weren't allowed in the zoo, but they seem friendly enough. I spent the rest of day 64 finishing the fence on top of the desert area, and it was almost done. However, the sand area looked a little plain. I couldn't really use cactus because it would just kill all the animals, so I needed some dead bushes, meaning I had to go all the way back to the desert biome again. And that is exactly what I did on day 65. I tracked all the way back to the desert, grabbed some dead bushes, and I went back home. And on the way back, I made an amazing discovery. What? I can just pick you up? Oh, let's go. You're coming home with me. <laughs> Bro, what? I could just pick up tortoises and take them with me. Crazy. Day 66, I arrived home and I got to decorating the desert area. I grew the acacia trees, which were a little bit bigger than I expected, but they're fine. Then I placed these cactus bundles, which looked questionable, but they don't deal damage, meaning they're way safer than cactuses. Then finally, I scattered a few dead bushes around the area. I would say that it looked decent. I like this. This is a little... I mean, the, the cactus looks a little... Yeah. But this looks good. I mean, this is kind of cool. It's a cool little spot, right? Now to put the animals in. Ostrich, go! Yeah! Ostrich, go! Yes, sir! Okay. Now we need some emus over there, please. At least one. At least one. Come on. Don't do this to me. Come on. Let's go! One emu. Oh, wait. What are these? Roadrunner eggs? Let's go. Work? No? Okay. What other eggs do we have? Oh, we have some more Roadrunner eggs. Maybe. Oh, we have a Roadrunner. Okay. That's one more animal. What if I just do this? Uh. Can you just, like, fall in for me? That would be kind of sick. You just... What the? What? No. Okay, hyenas are a no-go. That didn't work out very well. I'm sorry, Roadrunner. You're okay. Armadillo. Armadillo should be chill. You're pretty chill. Why are you yellow? What is this? Another armadillo. Another armadillo. Okay, okay. And this is a koala. We need to go back up for this. I need the koala to be, like, right there. There we go. Okay. I got all the animals that I currently had placed into the area. Unfortunately, the hyena did not really work out and had to be dealt with, but I was happy with what I had. I finished off that day making a box. I placed down the tortoises that I picked up in the box, and this would become known as the tortoise box. It's a pretty good name, right? Yeah. This was where I was going to put all the tortoises that I collected over time. It gets a little crazy later. Day 67, I now needed more animals for the desert area. So I took my now empty cages back to the desert once again. And on the way there, I was picking up lots of tortoises. Literally, like every tortoise that I saw picked up immediately. I arrived in the desert and savannah area and I got some kangaroos and aardvark, all kinds of stuff. That night, I even caught an entire camel. And I actually chose to stay up that night to explore what the desert had at night. Figured maybe there was a cool animal or something. 
<laughs> no, nothing cool. Just a very large tarantula that I did not want anywhere near my house. No thank you. Then, day 68, as I was nearing my base, I was attacked by an entire bear. No! No! No, 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 there's a bear, there's a bear, there's a bear! Stop that! No, thank you! No! You can't kill me! Stop chasing me! You are still there! That's what I thought! You're still mad! Okay, okay, leave the bear there, okay. Okay, it's still there! Why? 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 You know what? <laughs> I missed. Run away. Okay, you know what? I can, I can win, I can win, I can win. I can beat the bear. That's right! Yeah! Yeah! That's what I thought! Oof, scary, yeah. I, that could've, you know, killed me or something. Not that I would ever die to a bear. Ever. It just could've happened. You know, it's a possibility. Anyways, I then finally placed the rest of the animals in the desert enclosure. No! No! Uh... What? Did you just fall asleep in the wall? I'll get you out, buddy. It's okay. You just fell asleep in the wall, and that saved your life. You're good. You're alive. Okay. That is confusing in multiple ways. Aardvark? That goes over here. What else we got? Uh... Gazelle. Yeah, the gazelle. Love the gazelle. Oh, what you doing? Dig a little hole? Make a little home for yourself? Make it some little coarse dirt? Yeah. Oh, you're having a good time. Yeah. Make yourself a home. Feel free, my guy. Alright, our kangaroo. And our other kangaroo. There we go. We have our camel. We have a little gazelle. Some ostrich. Our koala. We have some kangaroos. An aardvark. What is that? The aardvark got something out of the dirt. What is that? An aardvark cucumber. You like those? Do you eat those? I got an aardvark cucumber. Do you eat those? How about you? Nice! And then I added some new friends to the tortoise box. Oh yes, there we go. We have more tortoise. Look how many tortoise we have. The tortoise box is unironically the best decision I've ever made in my entire life. Just saying. Day 69. No more games. I've spent all this time getting some basic enclosures, fish, birds, desert animals, newts, all of that stuff is easy. No more of that. From now on, I wanted rare and dangerous creatures. What if I just put a dragon, like, right here? That'd be sick, right? Yeah. Yeah. I wanted to collect the various kinds of dragons that I'd seen through my journey so far. I already had one captured, the Butterfly Leviathan, which is arguably the most dangerous one that I've seen. But I wanted to get all of them. And if you guys remember, a long time ago in the swamp biome, I saw a very tiny dragon, and that was going to be my first target. I headed to a nearby swamp and I began the hunt. I still had not found one of these dragons by day 70, but I was not going to give up. I returned to the swamp where I originally saw it, and at first I found nothing. But then... Oh! There's a dragon! Right there! Oh! 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 Yo! Yo! Okay. I need to be very careful. I need that. A canary wyvern. Oh! No! 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 no. Come back! Oh! 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 Okay. Follow it. Yeah, the uh, wyvern got away. But I did know that it could spawn here, so I just had to keep looking. And day 71, that's exactly what I did. And we got it. There, 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 there's two, there's two, there's two, there's two, there's two, there's two. There's two. Whoa, hey, 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 chill, 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 chill out. Chill out. I'm not losing them this time. I'm not. No, come back here. Come back here. Okay, fine. I'll just, I'll follow you slowly, okay? You can land. There's one, right there. it's stuck in the tree. That's the one. That's the one we need. It's stuck in a tree. Go, go, go. Oh, you're not getting away this time, buddy. No shot. Okay. Okay. Um. It's on fire. 
Okay. Yes. Let's go. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. oh, we got one. Oh, we got one. Okay. We caught one. Bro. I want another one, though. The other one, I'm pretty sure despawned, meaning I had to name tag these things immediately if I wanted to keep them. However, even though that one despawned, that was not the end. Oh, what? The? There's a baby one. Wait, what? Oh. Hello? I mean, I, I'll... Are you... You're mine. It's a baby, so it can't fly. That means we just put it in a box. Oh, we got another one. Okay. I, sure. Yeah. Yeah. I. Wow. I did not expect a, a child to appear. Back home the next day, it was time to get a home for my new wyverns. Except for the thing that I wanted to build, I actually needed mossy cobblestone, and that means I needed vines, meaning I had to go back to the swamp to get some. And believe it or not, that actually took all of day 72, because gathering vines is very slow. Like, unreasonably slow. Nice. Day 73, I made the mossy cobblestone, I chiseled it, and then I got to making the base for my canary wyvern enclosure. Only to realize that I did not have nearly enough materials. Nice. That would have sucked, except that I learned that I could actually just bone meal this moss stuff to get infinite of it, which solved my issues right then and there. With that, I finished the floor of the enclosure, I added a layer of glass, then I went to grab some more of the green wood for the roof. Day 74, I finished the enclosure for the canary wyverns. I added glass walls six blocks up with a green wood roof, and then I decorated the inside with some moss and a little tiny tree, and finally some azaleas, because why not? Now it was finally time to put my canary wyverns in their new home. But first I had to think of names. After a lot of thought and consideration, I decided on Azubar, God of All Things, and Jim. However, Azubar, God of All Things, did not go so well. You are Azubar. Oh, I'm sorry! Oh. No, I'm sorry. Jim, Jim, Jim. Your name is Jim now. I'm sorry! Chill out! You're so dumb! Yeah, that was tragic, but at least we still had Jim. Yeah, Jim! Let's let's go, yeah, yeah. After that, I made some bread and I went to sleep. Day 75, I greeted Jim and then I decided on my next goal. I wanted one of those big green dragons in the plains biomes. The only issue there is that they roar and give you slowness whenever you're too close. That would be really annoying in my base, however, I did a bit of research and learned that you can actually tame them. To do it, I would need a saddle, so I wanted to work on that. I headed over to a village, which conveniently had a dragon right next to it, and then I got to work. I stole all of their wheat to trade with farmers for emeralds, and then I realized that I totally forgot to bring a cauldron, so I mined some iron for that. Day 76, I converted a villager to a leather worker, and then I killed some wildlife for leather. I leveled him up, and now he sold these bed rolls for super cheap. I took that opportunity to trade with a farmer for emeralds, and now things were really getting moving. All right, my guy, you can have all this wheat. All of it is just yours. Actually, it was yours to begin with, but you don't know that. Look, look I got a kite. Yeah. I guess I'll buy some leather tunics as well. Why do those give nothing? Okay, we're going to buy some more bed rolls, actually. I lied. Okay. How about some of these? Thanks, man. They have leather horse armor in vanilla Minecraft? Is that a thing? When did they do that? Where's my money? Oh, there it is. Okay. Hey, man. I'll take that. Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay. And you have some armor. It took basically no time at all to get the leather guy all the way up and get my saddle. Life is good. And it was now time for one of my coolest moments in this 100 days. Okay, I am incredibly, incredibly nervous. I should probably take this stuff off, because this will just kill my, my guy. Okay. Here we go. I'm scared for my life. I, I have... I'm in danger. Okay, okay, okay. No, 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 no. No, 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 stop, stop, stop. What are you doing? Friend, 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 friend. Are we friends? Is it tame? Is it mine? Are you good? You're my friend! 
Yeah! Bro. Look at my guy. How do I command him? Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. Yeah, I, I got you, man. I, 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 do I? I got you, man. I got you, man. I got you. Yes, sir. Oh, I found the attack button. Let's go. Yeah! Oh, let's go. We, we destroy stuff now. I got my very own overworld Drake. Let's go. Now, I cannot put this guy in a cage or anything, because if I did, it would mess up the taming. And because I had to walk him all the way home on my own, I had plenty of time to think of a good name. Day 77, my boy was home. Let's go. I wasn't sure what to name him still, and when you're in doubt, just name things after food. Donut. Yeah! Look at him! Oh, I love him! Okay, we have Donut. Donut the Drake. I love this guy. After that, I added more tortoises to the tortoise box, hung up the slime kite, and I admired my new friend, Donut. And I can make him sit so I don't even have to build an enclosure for him or anything, which is amazing. After that, I wanted to immediately get to work on the next dragon. I hadn't actually seen any other dragons, but I knew that they were out there, so I decided to just explore the world to try and find them. One biome that I really wanted to find was a snow biome because I had not been in one at all yet and it might have some interesting creatures and maybe some more dragons. So I set out on a journey to find dragons or other rare mobs. I ended up in a savanna biome and a crazy series of events happened. Oh, I don't have an elephant. Wait. How much HP do you- Oh, yeah, that's scary. I'm gonna be honest, man. Oh! Oh! Oh, 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 oh. 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 Tame? Oh! 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 What? Oh! What? Bro! What? What? I just tamed an elephant! What's up, bro? Yo! Yo, that's sick! Oh! Look at look at the strafes! Oh! 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 Straving! Oh! Straving! Oh! Oh! What? What? Yeah, this entire elephant is just mine now. I decided to temporarily keep the elephant with me on the journey. And now, let the great dragon hunt begin. I traveled through that savanna and even further beyond into new territory. Me and my brand new elephant friend traveled past pyramids, we met new people, we got new clothes, and we just had a great time. But then I had to make a very tough choice. We reached an ocean, and for the sake of time, I could not take my new friend with me. I had to attack my very own friendly elephant and put them in a cage. I would have to retame them later as the cage does break the tame status completely, but this was for the best. I feel so bad about that. With my elephant safely in a cage, I could now swim across the ocean at the speed of light. And then I was in a mountain biome on day 80 when I saw something. Whoa, 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 whoa. What is that? Where did it go? It despawned. What was that? What was that? Wait, what? Shadow? What? What? It's over there. Fire? Oh, nah, dude. What was that? Yes, an entire gigantic fiery dragon beast of a creature, but it despawned immediately. At least, that's what I thought. I knew then that I was in the right place, and now my entire goal was to capture that creature. I looked up the dragon on the mod's wiki page, and it was called a Royal Red. So, that was my target. A Royal Red Dragon. And then, later that day, I had another crazy series of events. I found a super rare albino dog. Whoa! Whoa, it's a shiny dog! What? It's like a shiny Pokemon! You like bones, right? Is that it? Was it bones that you came with? Was it bones? No, what was it? It was meat, right? No, it was eggs. You like eggs? What? You're like a rare color! I don't have any eggs. You killed the chickens. Oh, what? 
But if I put you in a cage, you're not going to be the same color when you come back out. Oh no! Um... What? Who was that? Uh... That was the Royal Red. That had to have been. Okay. Oh, there it is, there it is, there it is, there it is. Okay. A Royal Red. That's our target. Okay. No! Oh, God. Come here. Come here. Come here. Got Apple. Come here. Come here. Don't despawn. Don't do it. No! Come back! Yep, the rare albino creature leads me to my main target, the Royal Red. I uh, actually learned later that the dragon killed the albino thing, so that's really unfortunate because that's a really rare spawn, but oh well. I slept off the night and on day 81, it was game time. And you know how I mentioned the albino dog was killed by the dragon? Well, uh, that led to quite the interesting allies the next day. Yeah, that, these guys- oh, they're following it! They're following it! Right? Yeah, 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 because they- the dragon attacked them before. The dragon attacked these guys before. So they're following the dragon, so I can just follow them, right? There he is, there he is! Okay, these guys are the key. They're the key. I followed these things for ages. They knew what they were doing, they knew where they were going, and I trusted them. Then I ended up encountering the beast in a roof forest, and things got very laggy. I ate my god apple during the lag so I wouldn't, you know, die, and then I ran through a clearing waiting for the dragon to come closer to fight it. To tame this creature, I had to weaken it into a sleeping state and then feed it raw meat. And after waiting for a bit, it seemed like it had fallen asleep and gotten low HP all on its own. I actually learned that was because it was breathing fire on me, and it was actually activating my thorns damage reflection bobble that I had. And you're about to learn why that is a very bad thing. I don't even know how he got- Oh! 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 We did it! What? I'll be real, I don't know if he's mine or if he's trying to kill me. Is it trying to kill me? The answer is yes, it's trying to kill me. Okay. I'll fight you. Oh wait, you're getting damaged by my, my thing. That's why you're getting... Oh, that's amazing. My bobble that reflects damage is damaging him. Okay. Wait, what? What? Royal Red was killed trying to hurt me. That implies that it was mine. So why was it attacking me? Yeah, so basically, I tamed it, it glitched out, so it was still attacking me, and the fire that it was breathing on me ended up killing my own tamed dragon. Yeah. I actually looked it up and I learned that if I had just re-logged in that moment, the dragon wouldn't have attacked me and it wouldn't have died, meaning I would have had a really strong dragon tame, but uh, haha, <laughs> no. Regardless, I cannot go home empty-handed, so it was back to exploring. And while I was exploring, I wrongfully assumed that I was too fast for any of the ocean mobs to catch up to me. She's chasing me! Oh god, oh god, oh god. How am I not faster than that thing? Oh my gosh! Yeah, I tried to be a bit more safe from now on. Also, that was uh, not the only encounter with butterfly leviathans. At all. Not another one! Oh my god, dude, I hate these things! Oh, that actually scared me. Did you, did you see my mouse, like, jump? Dude, I was so scared. Kinda hate those things, not gonna lie. I also saw a pink sheep on this adventure, which is pretty rare, I think. A bit later, I finally found a snow biome, and immediately I spotted a new creature. Whoa! Dragon! 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 Dra is it, that is a dragon! That is undoubtedly a dragon, okay. Oh, what is that? Oh, it's a whale. Dra where'd the dragon go? There's a okay, he's right there. I I'm going to look that dragon up to learn what it does. Okay, that is called a silver glider and it can be tamed with fish. The next morning, it was time to try and tame the Silver Glider, and uh, it did not work out. 
I chased these things around for a while trying to feed them fish and they just were not having any of it. I ended up just giving up on them and continuing on my way because they were not worth the time. Then a bit later I saw these snow camels. Do snow camels actually like exist? Is that like a thing in real life? I've never really heard of that before. I've only heard of them being in like deserts and a ice area is not really a, a desert, I don't think, but maybe they exist. I don't really know. In another mountain biome, for some reason I decided to take on a dungeon and it was very worthwhile. Fall damage immunity, I'll take it. I'll take it, I'll take it. I am a gamer requesting a recall potion. Oh, life is good, dude. Oh, my, I was so worried. I was literally so worried about getting home. Amazing finds, fall damage immunity, and a way to get home no matter where I was. Then, in another mountain biome, I spotted fire. Oh, shoot. Is there another one? There is. I said, no, that's a bird. Oh. I was hyped for no reason. There's fire, though. There's fire. Is there another royal red? Dragon! Right there! Right there! Right there! Royal red! Okay. 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 That was one of them. That was a royal red. That was a royal red. Oh, shoot. Unfortunately, without the dog pack to lead me, there was zero chance of me actually finding where the dragon flew off to and it got away. That was kind of demoralizing, but it was not the end of the world. I still had a chance to find a very cool dragon to bring back home. I continued my search and I ended up riding a reindeer for part of it, which was pretty cool. I decided to name him a Dragon Hunter 42 because he was going to help me find some dragons. Yeah. And that was exactly what he did. Within moments, I found the dragon that I was hunting. What is that? Wait, 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 right there, right there. That's the Alpine Dragon. Oh, shoot. I didn't know they could be in snow biomes. Dragon Hunter, we did it. I found the Alpine Dragons. To tame these, I needed a lead. Fortunately, I had been secretly gathering the materials to tame these this whole time. I cooked these jellyfish that I had, I turned them into slime balls, then that night I got some string. And then this happens. String right here. Oh, that's amazing. Okay. Chill. I don't care about the dungeon. I ain't going in there. No shot, man. I want the string and that's it. I got shot. I knew, it, I knew it, I knew it, I knew it, I knew it, I knew, I knew, I knew one of them was gonna spawn. What do I do? What do I do? Ah, uh, what do I do? 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 Um, um, build. A mutant skeleton attacks me because of course it does, why wouldn't it? I had no choice but to build a little box then dig down to sleep. The next morning I had the idea of tunneling away, but uh... It's still here, dude! No way! After a lot of back and forth tunnels, I realized that there was no way to get away, so I thought of another plan. There it is, okay. Come here! Ow, ow, ow. Come here! Yes! I'm cheesing it. Ow, what was that? You're almost dead, buddy. Ow, I'm slowed. Come on. He's almost dead. That does damage, though. Stop it. Hey. Let's go. Ow, that did so much damage. Okay, we killed it, though. We killed it. I killed a mutant beast. I was God. I gathered the pieces of the skeleton and then back to the matter at hand, the alpine dragon. Okay. Now... The way you tame a dragon, one of these alpine dragons, is you need to bring it a bee that's covered in pollen. Okay. Now I have two bees. Y'all want y'all want some of that pollen or? Oh, you have pollen. Okay. Okay. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Okay. Alpine dragon. I have snack for you. Yes. Munch it. Yes. Yeah, you did it. Are you mine now? Are you mine? Didn't. Oh. Okay, I'll I'll get the other one. I'll, uh, 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 I'm so sorry. That's a nice pollen you got there. Hey, I need this dragon here. Take it. Take it. Yes. Yes. I saw hearts. Let's 
go! Bro. We have a dragon. I got it. My very own flying dragon. Life was amazing. Life was phenomenal. Now, day 90, I had to go home. When I got those recall potions before, I kind of forgot what I was trying to do, which was tame a dragon, and I could not put that in a cage because it would untame it, and now I had to go all the way back home manually. Except this time, I was on a flying dragon, and I was able to get home by night 90. On foot, that would have taken at least three to four days, but we got there in like one, which was crazy. Day 91, I sorted some things out after my very long journey. Your name is now Snowcone. Okay? Yeah, you like it. Dragon Hunter 42? We're gonna stick you right there so you can't go anywhere. Yes, sir. Okay, and your name is gonna be Peanuts. Yeah! Let's go, dude. Look at Peanuts! Vibin'! They still have their drip. They still have their outfit. I did not expect them to keep their clothes. I don't know how that happened, but they did! Let's go! We got Snow Cone the Dragon, Dragon Hunter 42 the Reindeer, and of course, Peanuts the Elephant. Things were now a bit more lively around here. Now for the final goal. Days 92 and 93 I spent gathering materials and building three separate cells. These were the final project. I wanted to capture a mutant skeleton, a mutant creeper, and a mutant zombie. There are other mutants in the mod pack as well, but I didn't really have that much time left, so I figured that I should just stick to what I thought was possible. I then very stupidly slept off night 93. Why did I sleep? Oh. Yeah, I don't know what I was thinking, but I now had to wait around until nighttime to catch the mutant beasts. I decided to go around and explore a bit because I do need iron for a new anvil because mine was broken, so might as well. Then it was nighttime. Time to hunt these mutant beasts. And yeah, I did not find any mutants that night. Nice. They always exist when I don't want them to, but the second that I want to catch them, nothing. However, the next day wasn't all boring because a creeper did blow up the middle of my yard. <laughs> Why? 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 Why do I have fake po- Why did this happen? Okay. Yeah, not cool. That day I smelted the iron that I mined and also some more platinum. I enchanted a new platinum scythe with sharpness 4, looting 3. I don't know why I didn't enchant a new scythe ages ago, but now I have a really good one to fight the mutants. Then I did something that I really should have done ages ago, I enchanted a bow. Well, actually, first I enchanted a book with infinity, and then I enchanted a bow with power 3. I then made a new anvil, and I made my infinity bow. I also repaired the pick, because why not? Then, that night, I was running around when I heard a massive roar from behind me. Oh, what? Wow, that scared me. Oh. No, 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 you're good, man, you're good. I, I want to fight you, come back. Was he sad? He left. Oh, there he is. Oh, he's fast. He is coming. Uh, did I freeze him? I froze him, okay. You guys can't be getting in my way. You're literally guarding him. I need to get him below 25% HP. Can you screw off? Okay, huge, huge. What? I hit the crow! Okay. 25%. Huge, and then I just... Let's go! We got him! We got a mutant zombie. Oh, that was terrifying. Did you see how much damage he did to me with that one hit? He could have killed me! I captured my first mutant. I needed two more, but having one already was massive. That one was probably the easiest to capture. If I had to guess, the creeper is probably the hardest one because, you know, explosions are extra deadly in hardcore mode. Now, it was time to get this guy in his cell. Alright, let's try and get this guy in there. <laughs> that scared me half to death. Alright, let's try and get this guy in here. So I have a, a spider test subject right now, which, okay. That tells me the zombie should work. I'm really scared right now. 
Because actually getting him in here is something I didn't really think about. Uh, okay. Okay, that's amazing, but I forgot to name tag him, so we have to do this again. Hold on. Garlic Butter! You can't see the name tag through the glass, but his name is Garlic Butter. I like him. He is here forever. Let's go! Garlic Butter acquired. Not as hard as I expected, honestly. I was kind of worried they would aggro through the one block of glass, but I guess not. One mutant down, two to go. And that night, I got an insanely lucky spawn, a mutant creeper. Oh, there, there, there. Oh, the, okay, there's a mutant creeper. I am 100% convinced that's the hardest one to capture. I might die. <laughs> oh, there's someone shooting me. Oh, there's so many things. Yeah, fight each other, yeah. Oh, please stop. Where's the mutant creeper? Did it despawn? No, they chased me too far away. Aw, oh, dude. Yeah, it, uh, it despawned. I looked everywhere, but I could not find it. That thing was just gone. However, at the very end of that night, I started getting shot. A lot. What? What? There's a mutant. Oh no. Oh no. There it is. A mutant skeleton. Okay. 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 Not a drill. Not a drill. I need to get hidden. I need to hide. Is it out there? How do I know? How's it going to despawn when it was shooting at me? What? It did not despawn! Safety hole. Okay. Don't trust your eyes. Ever. Again. Um. I need it to come up here. It's there. It's there. It's there. It's right there. Okay. Alright, how low are you? It is at 127. How low? 78. How low? 45. One. This. Let's go! We got it! That's right, we got the mutant skeleton. Let's go! Now it is time to give the skeleton its new home. Okay, here's the hoping this works. I don't want that there. Uh, can, sir, can you please move over? Or here, I'll name you. Uh, uh, uh. Okay. And there we go. Alfredo the mutant skeleton is home. Oh, we have, look at this. I really wish it wasn't raining, but look at this. We have Alfredo, the mutant skeleton, the goat. And then we have, what's your name again? Garlic Butter, I think. The mutant zombie. Two down, one to go. The most dangerous one, of course, because you got to save the best for last. <laughs> yeah, I was honestly really nervous. Explosions in hardcore mode do insane damage, and the creeper might just one-shot me. Then, that night, I actually slept to get rid of the rain, meaning I could not hunt the creeper that night, and I totally forgot and spaced out, and I was dumb. So, uh, yeah, one less night to hunt the creeper. Cool. Night 98, I saw a mutant skeleton and a mutant zombie, but no mutant creepers. Like, hello? I was now on day 99, and I still had an entire rare mutant to capture. I was kinda stressed out. I built myself a little watchtower to pass the time, and now I just had to wait. And then that night, I ran around. I saw multiple mutant zombies, my armor was getting destroyed, and I was beginning to lose hope. But then, just as the sun was rising, I saw it. Is that it? Bro, oh my god. The sun is literally rising, I think, right? Yes? Or setting? It's definitely right. it goes up, right? Rising is up? Yeah, anyways. We found it! We found it! We found it! We found it! We take off the nucleus right now because it's gonna cause issues. We need to weaken it. No skeleton, screw off. No, stop, stop, stop! You're gonna get me killed! I need you all to stop, okay. Don't despawn, please. Just weaken it. As much as possible. Bro, look at my helmet's durability. I've been getting shot so much. 
All right, shoot it again. Now I need to do this. Run in. Punch. Let's go! I'm so hyped for no reason. Oh my god, I see no reason. That thing is terrifying. Uh, my hitboxes were on the whole time. That probably looks super ugly. I apologize. Sincerely. <laughs> Bro. I'm literally so scared that it's going to blow everything up. But nothing else attacks. Stop. Anyways. Let's go. <laughs> Named it? Block place. We're done. We got it. We got the creeper. We have Marinera. Chill out. We have a garlic butter, the zombie. We have- Shut up! We have garlic butter, the zombie. We have Alfredo, the mutant skeleton. And finally, we have Marinera, the creeper. The mutant creeper. Let's go! All three mutants acquired. Let's go! I had one final thing that I wanted to do to end it all off. I got on snow cone and I headed for the ocean. Okay. One final thing that we need to deal with. So this this butterfly leviathan that we caught forever ago, it strikes lightning everywhere. When it's in water, it seems to strike lightning at everything nearby, and that wouldn't really fly in my own zoo. So we're gonna set it free. However, I'm gonna name it. I have a name tag right here, Butterfree. Get it? Because it's a butterfly leviathan and I'm setting it free. I'm saying goodbye to the Butterfree. Get it? Anyways, we're gonna do it. All right. I might die. I, I straight up might die. Go. Name. Enderpearl. Oh, let's go. Fly, 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 fly. Let's go, dude. Oh, that was the single most dangerous thing I've done in my entire life. You're going to want to get back in the water. Go on. There you go. There you go. And there there she goes. Goodbye. And now I return home. Butterfree, the butterfly leviathan, had been set free. It just was not safe to keep it near my home, so now the entire ocean would be the enclosure. I returned home and I took one last look around at the stuff that we had accomplished. We had a miniature swamp habitat with all these cool newts, a massive bird enclosure with every bird that you could ever imagine, a sick aquarium with a bunch of different fish, the desert and savanna area with a wide variety of different animals, Jim the canary wyvern, Donut, Dragon Hunter 42 the god of all reindeer, the mutant beast that we worked insanely hard for, our cute dog, and of course, the tortoise box. You cannot forget the tortoise box. The sun was setting on day 100 and the 100 day journey had come to an end. That was 100 days as a mob hunter slash zookeeper slash whatever I end up calling it in hardcore Minecraft. If you want to play the mod pack yourself, be sure to join my discord. The mod pack is posted there and the link to that's in the description. So yeah. If you play it and you build your own zoo, send me pictures on Twitter because I kind of want to see stuff like that. And also, I want to use Twitter more because I don't really use it enough. So do that. Yeah. But for now, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to like, sub, all that stuff. And I will see you all in the next video. Later.